Hi, I'm Jonathan Levitt here at Magic Live, and welcome to Late Night Live Day 2. Once again, we're taking you behind the scenes to show you what makes Magic Live so special. In today's sessions, we'll hear from and see Johnny Thompson, Mark Kornhauser, Levent, Giovanni Levera, Sauce and Victoria, Richard Sanders, and others. You'll also get a peek into tonight's show, Documentary Live, Divided We Stand. And trust me, there will be some moments you may never forget. Let's get to it. Here are some of the highlights from this morning's general session. So you believe it's possible that your potential could be greater, then boom, you just blew a hole through your own ceiling. They say sky's the limit. I say sky is not the limit. There are way more blessings for you in this art and way more blessings for you in your life than you can even imagine. Make your ceiling your floor. Make your ceiling your floor. Get on top of your potential. All right, so, uh, Jaja, we're at the, uh, where are we at? Uh, at the Orleans uh, Magic Live. You excited? I could pee. Ready? Yeah, here it goes. Why do dogs lick their testicles? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Wrong, because they taste like hash browns. <laughs> they taste like hash. You're going to contest it? No. Nope. <laughs> The focus sessions are already underway. Johnny Thompson is giving his talk right now. Let's, let's go have a listen. How comes the tough part? The change it back to the pen. But then I won't change it back. I'll leave it at the eight spades, and she could have called any cover. I'll leave it for the grand villa of good fortune to set them afloat. Now that quote has had an enormous impact on the way that I live my life and the way that I run my business. Because every time I look at my career, and my career is not where I think it should be, I never look at circumstances outside of myself. Instead, I look within, and I ask myself, what is it that I am not doing to move my career forward? All right, little something with four cards. This trick was actually rated 10 out of 10 by the Magicians Association of America. I'll show you why. Watch, I'm going to take a joker. I'm going to put that in your uh, right hand. I'm going to take another joker, put it in your left hand. Okay. What's going to happen is your jokers and my jokers will change places. Watch. Do you feel that? No. Probably wondering why they rated this 10. <laughs> Here's the first reason. Here's the second reason. Show them the third and fourth. That's why they call that 10. Yesterday, I sat down with David Williamson. Here's a few more of the nominees from the Magic Live Film Festival. The Magician's Wife. Yeah, who made this? Uh, John Mobley. John Mobley, The Magician's Wife, which uh, I know that it had to be from a uh, fictional source because I'm married to a magician's wife and it's nothing like that. That was right. CGI or something. I yeah, the magic, yeah, like the Avatar. Well, no, because Avatar, like my wife is blue and she has stripes on her skin. Oh, so, yeah. but You make a good point. I do. Yeah, okay. Enjoy The Magician's Wife. I don't mean it like that. Thurston. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. All right.
right, so uh, this one is called Magicians Anonymous. From Eric Starkey. And it features Paul Gertner pulling a mouth coil from an interesting body part, mm -hmm. and that's all I'm going to say about that. That's all you have to say. You have me a coil. Mouth coil. Maybe. Hmm. Find out for yourselves. You take the thumb. Now I'm going to freeze it right there. Look, here's an exposed view. Okay? That's all I'm doing. I'm bending oh, so both thumbs. One's out of the way and one's This isn't a magnet. No, no, no. That's a Himber ring. Oh, okay. Congratulations on taking the first steps towards your recovery. I just know that you're going to find our program. Paul! What's that in your mouth? Nothing. Paul? Okay. So this next film, How Did They Begin? From Craig Greenwood. Always a good strategy to suck up to the publisher for a film festival. Yeah, it's like Harvey, but you can see the rabbit. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. How Did They Begin? putting the spotlight on the early years of magic personalities we have come to love. In this episode, we look at the early years of Killer the Rabbit. Killer is arguably the most famous rabbit working in magic today, and the silent half of the comedy magic duo Stan Allen and Killer. His career has been long and rewarding, taking him around the world to bring charm and laughter to millions. We've got some of the Marketplace reviewers from Magic Magazine scouring the Magic Shop floor looking for the hottest and newest effects. Here's Brad Henderson with his first review. Hi, this is Brad Henderson with a Marketplace review for Late Night Live. I'm here with Jamie Grant and he's going to tell us about one of his latest and greatest creations. Hey everyone, this is Industrial Revelation. Last week, I asked someone to cut the deck. Who actually cuts a deck of cards like that? Really? Come on, seriously. But it enables me to perform miracles, because now I can push a quarter through a solid deck of cards. Just like that, through a solid deck. I know what you're thinking, Brad, is that a real quarter it is? And that deck, I promise, is completely solid. 1.5 pounds of solid steel. Ladies and gentlemen, Jamie Grants, Industrial Revelation. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take the thank you very much. Yeah. Well, here's the review of Jamie Grant's Industrial Revelation. Of course, this is a variation on what is now a classic uh, matchbox penetration effect. About 15, 20 years ago, a gentleman from Spain came out with a little brass version. Jamie has brought it into the 21st century and made it incredibly industrial. Now, I've had the good fortune of having this product for a while, and I'll tell you that it is extraordinarily well made. When that Brock block of steel hits your hand or the audience's hands, they are impressed. You get everything you need to do this trick, including what I think are some of the best instructions I've seen. I want you to take a quick look at these. These are beautifully done, fully illustrated, one page. You don't have to turn on a machine. You don't have to download them. Everything you need is there, but for the technophiles out there, it's got a lot of uh, electronic support as well. That's the good news. Let me tell you a little bit of my concerns about the effect. What is the effect of this? Is it that a steel block appears inside a card case or is it a penetration effect? If it's a penetration effect and you think about it, it actually happens after the effect because while well, the, the, the knife is going through the case, they can't appreciate it's going through a solid object. So I think if you want to get the maximum impact out of this routine, you have to think what is the effect and how can my presentation enhance it. But even if you ignore that, I don't care who you are, when you drop that huge chunk of steel into their hands, they're going to have a visceral reaction. Jamie pre-released this item, amazing customer support, everyone seems happy, and I'll tell you what, any concern you have, in my experience, he's going to go out of his way to make it right. So, unqualified positive review from Jamie Grant's Industrial Revelation. Have you ever performed or witnessed magic while in complete darkness? Think about it. Here at Magic Live, our attendees had one of their senses temporarily removed. Tonight, 
They experience the wonderment of magic while blind. Okay. So, From the Dark is a very unique magical experience. It was actually created for the blind so they could experience magic as well. So our purpose is to give you the same experience. So we will have you blindfolded, remove your glasses, turn off your cell phone, and then we escort you two at a time to your seats. The ushers then take you inside, making sure you don't hurt yourself along the way, I give you a seat, and then they give you further instructions. We actually strap a black box to you, and um, the magician will pretty much take it from there. Jonathan's going to be really easy. Put on your blindfold, please. Excellent. I'm going to take both your hands. You're going to follow me, and this is going to be the coolest thing you're never going to see. Let's go. We're about to head into the dark room. Turn left, and just keep following the sound of my voice. I'm not going to leave you. I'm right here with you, okay? We walk down the center of the aisle. I'm going to find an usher to seat you. I'm going to pass you off, but until that point, I am never going to leave you. I'm going to slow down right here. Awesome. VIP seating for you guys. I'm going to pass you off. Hi there. My name's Edward. <laughs> Carry on walking this way. That's excellent. Your seat's just down there. If you'd like to take a seat. I'm going to place this box on your lap now. Take the ring and keep it in your right hand. The ring. Do you have the ring? Yeah. Okay, great. Because uh, I want you to use your left hand with the fingers pointing to the ceiling and put the ring in any of the fingers of the left hand. Put the ring in any of the fingers and leave it there of the left hand. Okay. I want to explain to you the rules of this little game we're going to play. I'm here with four participants of the experience that we've just uh, all had together, and you are either visually impaired or blind. Is that correct? Yes. yes. And you are not magicians? No. no. Okay. Have you ever experienced magic before? Hmm. Not no. Really. Not, <laughs> no. I, I would definitely define the magician as somebody who is able to create an illusion, whether it be visually or through audio senses, but he's able to use your senses against you and create deception within your mind. Today, we witnessed the rehearsal for this evening's performance yeah, of Documentary Live, Divided We Stand. It's the story of the most famous illusion in the history of magic. Today, it's simply known as Sawing a Woman in Half, and it was told in detail by Mike Caveney and then performed on the Magic Live stage in many of its incarnations through history by some of today's greatest illusionists. And a young lady. As good as new ladies and gentlemen. The first full day of the convention has come to a close, and there's still so much more. We can't wait to bring it to you right here on Late Night Live. We'll see you tomorrow.